rolling motion. This lab comes in two parts. In the first, you will be filming a hollow cylinder as it rolls down a level track. You will then be analyzing that video in Logger Pro to track the motion of two points that are exactly opposite on the cylinder. There are going to be a lot of data points in that analysis because we are filming at a high frame rate, not to get that many frames, but to get that fast of a shutter speed. So there are instructions in the procedure on how you could analyze every fifth frame or every tenth frame, which should be more than enough to track that motion. The one thing you must be very careful of, you're going to track all of the motion of one dot, and then you're going to go back and track all of the motion of the second dot. And if your tracking points for your two dots are on two different frames of the video, you cannot analyze them because they are at two different points in time. So you need to make sure that your second set of dots are on the exact same frame as your first set of dots. A good way to tell if you're doing this or not is that in the video analysis, a row in your data table will only be created if you are analyzing that frame. So as you are tracking your second dot, your data table should not be getting any longer. If your data table is getting longer, you're analyzing new frames, which means your second dot will be on a different frame than your first dot, and you can't compare them. In the second part of the lab, you will be taking your level track, adding a motion detector, and putting it up at an angle. We will then be rolling various objects down the track, watching their motion with the motion detector, and then catching them in your foam-lined bin at the bottom. Your various objects are a thin wall cylinder, a thick walled cylinder, a solid cylinder, a hollow sphere, a solid sphere, and a large solid sphere. The exact angle of the ramp is not important as long as you know exactly what it is. So you will be using that digital level again to know exactly what your angle is. Knowing the angle of the ramp and using that motion to calculate the linear acceleration of the objects as they go down the ramp, you will be able to work out what the coefficient at the front of the moment of inertia is for each of these objects. Thank you for watching this video. Here's the fact for this week. Alphabetizing was seen as a dangerously radical act because it upset things from the natural order of things. You know, God, then heaven, then the king, then nobility, and then everyone else gets to be in the list.